hello everyone today we will be learning the concept of s3 in aws platform so we will uh, see how s3 service work uh, so we will create bucket in s3 service and we will create in object inside the bucket and we will see how the object can be made public or private and we will enable versioning of multiple of if you have uploaded multiple object multiple version of the object in s3 bucket so how you can see all those version or how you can save all those version inside the bucket we can see that so suppose uh, so why versioning is important if you consider one thing in your mind suppose uh, you have one excel sheet and you are maintaining data of the admissions uh, in the university right so uh, today there, there were like some suppose uh, 700 admissions uh, happened uh, today so what we will do we will make entry of 700 student and we will save the version now tomorrow onward uh, suppose 100 or 200 more admissions happen in that case you want to save the data also so in today's version only 700 data was present in the next version what will happen uh, 900 data will be present but for tomorrow's data only 200 data uh, students data were added so like that we can keep version of each and every day so that if there is some problem occurred in one day's data so you can restore the previous version and from that there only you can do some changes or you can save some information if you want to change by doing that we can understand uh, the importance of the versioning so we will uh, see how s3 service work so if you see you can see here one bucket like a structure appears means it is behaving like a container then in that container you can save any number of data you want to save so right now there is no bucket created inside this particular aws s3 platform so i'll create bucket first so for that purpose we need to provide name for the bucket so that there is some naming convention you need to provide here so the bucket name should be globally unique and it should not contain any space or uppercase letter so what i am doing i am just providing my name here and today's date right for the bucket creation so you can provide any name but the bucket name should be globally unique and there should not be any space or uh, your uh, it should not contain capital letter so i am creating my bucket in aws uh, mumbai region now ownership bucket ownership i am the owner so for all the object i will create inside the bucket i will be the permission will be given to me now you can see block public access setting for this bucket right so if you globally block public access for this the bucket that means inside the bucket if you are creating any object or you are containing any object that will not be accessible so i'm just blocking right now later on i'll show you how it uh, like uh, how it is uh, available there now bucket versioning option i am making it disable later on i'll show you how to make it enable i am not providing any tag here and if you want to keep any data inside s3 bucket either you can use s3 managed key or you can use KMS service key management service and you can create your key and you can protect the data that you are saving inside the bucket so I'm not using by default option whatever is available I'm using that bucket key so I'm not creating any key so uh, so by default whatever option is present I'm just keeping that in the advanced setting if you want to lock the object or not you can provide that information so I'm not uh, locking the object so now I'm creating bucket. So when you see the information, one bucket is created, and if you see the access right, right, the bucket and object are not public. Both are not public. If bucket is not public, so object will also be not in public condition, right? So if you want to make the object publicly accessible, you need to make it public. So inside the bucket, what I want to do. I want to upload some data so whether I will be able to upload or not I need to check here so if you want to upload something right 
so you can upload it so what i want to do i want to create one text file here i'm just writing name as first file and i'm saving the name as this is my first file Okay, now I'll want to save this one. Now what I want to do, now I'm just going here and I'm just adding, uploading that file. So what I want to do here, I'm just uploading this first file. Okay, so this file is uploaded inside the bucket if you want to see that information just go back and you will see this information now if you want to access this bucket right so you can access this bucket by following this url so if you want to share this url with someone to access this object from anywhere so they can access it by by following this url but we have not allowed access for this url to anyone so when when i'll copy this url here so it will not allow access for this text file so we need to make it make it accessible but when you want to open from your platform aws platform you can you will be able to open it why because this one is administrative platform right so I have complete right about this object so I can open it. But if I'll share this URL with someone, so I will not be able to open that. So to make it, to open this file, what I need to do, I need to make it publicly available. So I cannot make the object publicly available. So if I go to this object and go to action, so make public option is not enabled here why because my bucket is not public so i cannot make object inside that bucket as public so for that purpose i need to make the bucket as public first so uh, you cannot make it public from here just go to this bucket option go to the permission point and here you need to edit this block public access setting and here i will allow so i am just allowing all kind of public access cross region, same region from another account. So I'm just allowing all the option. So I'm confirming this one. Okay, still I will not be able to access the bucket. Why? Because I have made bucket public, not the object public. So if you go and check the buckets information, now you can see it is appearing that objects can be public, but right now it is not in the public condition. So we need to make the object in public condition. So just go to the bucket. So we need to make individual object agent in public condition. Now we can make the object in public condition. Now we need to set the, uh, we need to, Okay, so when, when we are going to this object and we try to make it public from here, we are not able to do that. Why? Because we have not given permission to anyone to access this bucket object. So for that purpose, we need to do the changes. So how we can do the changes? Go to this file, go to the permission and bucket on owner enforced permission, right? So only bucket owner is allowed to access this object. So I'm just going to change it and I'm just allowing to other user also to access this bucket object. Okay, so I'm just going to save changes. Now, if you will refresh this page, so I think you will be able to see the content. So, okay, now I need to go to the buckets object and I need to make it public. So I think it will be enabled now. Yeah. Now I can make this object public. So if you will refresh this page, 
so you will see the content now so if you share this url with someone so that person can access this ob object now what i want to do i want to upload some other file right so i want to create multiple version of this object so for that purpose you will not be able to upload file with the same name on s3 bucket if you have not allowed versioning option suppose what i want to do you cannot do changes in the first file if you want to change the file you need to change it somewhere else then you you can upload that file in the s3 bucket so i am just writing updated version first updated version okay now if i'll try to upload this file again in the s3 bucket because we cannot change file here in the s3 bucket you need to change it somewhere else so inside this bucket i want to upload object so i have not allowed versioning option right so if you will try to upload file with the same name it will not allow you so it is allowed here you can if you just go okay yeah it allowed you but you can see right now uh, when you will just check this information you will get the updated version right previous version got deleted why because in the previous version the file uh, like we have not allowed versioning option so you cannot see multiple version of the file you can see always see the latest version now if you want to see the previous versions of the file also in that case you need to allow versioning option right so here right now it is not enabled so go and select this one and here you will see versioning option right so i'll show you so you need to allow versioning option so in that case you need to go to properties and you need to edit this bucket versioning property so there are only two phase here suspend or enable so you can enable or you can suspend it right there is no stopping condition here i am just saving change here okay so now my bucket versioning option is enabled earlier this toggle button was not coming right now you can right now you can see versioning option is not on if you click here you can see it is on now so if you want to see the file information you can see this information right now if you will try to upload multiple version of this file so you can see all the version of the file also so i am just writing this is second updated version So now I will try to upload this file. So we will see two versions of that file will be shown. So right now versioning option is disabled here. Just make it enable. You can see here two version of this file is available, right? the this one is the second version when the versioning option was enabled so that's why version id is available in the previous version of this file versioning option was not enabled so version id is null in that case so if you will enable versioning option so the files information will be present now what i want to do i want to modify this one again and i am writing this is third version now i will try to upload it again so then i will show you what will happen so i am just uploading this file again so you will see three version of my file will be available and for two files version id will be assigned why because that at the time when i have uploaded third version versioning option was enabled now if you want to see the content go to this content and just open the content right you can see this one is the latest version but this bucket object is not publicly available right so 
each time when you upload new version unless and until you may, will make this version publicly available it will not be publicly available so my first version is publicly available but for these two version it is not publicly available so you need to make it publicly available if you want to uh, you if you want to see or if you want to share it with someone now i want to uh, talk about suppose if you have deleted any of the file right so how you can restore those file so that facility is available in aws platform suppose i am just deleting this file right so i am just uh, removing versioning option here and i am deleting this file so if versioning option is enabled in that case i can restore the file otherwise i cannot restore the file suppose i have deleted deleted this file so once you will delete the file one delete marker will be created okay and from that delete marker you can restore the file so what i did when i deleted this file all the version of the file got deleted right and right now you can see no versioning information is available when you show versioning you can see all the versions of the files are in deleted form you cannot use this file but you can see apart from all this file one delete marker is generated right and this delete marker will be used to restore all the file when you will delete this delete marker then you your all the file will be by default restored so versioning is very much important if by mistake any of the file got deleted you can restore the file by deleting the delete marker that is generated so now you can see all the files are in available condition so like this you can delete any object you can restore those object according to your need so you cannot delete the bucket right you need to first delete the object then only you will be able to delete the bucket so i just wanted to delete this bucket so first i need to make this bucket empty then we can delete the ob uh, then we can delete the object so now if i'll go and so now my bucket is empty and i can delete the bucket so like this you can add delete any content uh, from uh, the bucket right now no bucket is present in my account that is about today's lab assignment